One of the core things of Fable is the ability to be good or evil. There's lots and lots of different things that you can do. Everything from, you know, take on quests and, and defeat dragons, do all the things that you'd expect to see in a role-playing game, but some things that you don't see in a role-playing game, like, for example, why not have it that you could go and chat up a girl? And why not have it that perhaps you could go and get married to that girl and then you could have a family? And wouldn't it be more exciting if you started off as a kid, but what that kid will become, what sort of hero he will be, will he be good and noble and will he take on noble and good challenges or will he be evil and nasty and will he take every opportunity to be the black heart soul that they could possibly be? or sort of anything in between. In other words, that this role-playing game will allow you to define what sort of player you are, not by choosing an option at the start of the game, but by actually playing the game. Every time you do something, and people see you do something evil, they'll react. After a time, you'll actually look more evil, you, you know, you will look more sinister, your jaw offsets, your eyes get a little bit more narrow, you'll walk into towns and all the women will go inside and lock all their doors because they'll be scared of you and see them looking through the window. No, no, no trouble, please. no trouble, please. So a lot about the world reacting to what you're like as a player. One of the ambitions we really, really wanted is a mix combat. I didn't want to be just a swordsman or just someone who's good at ranged combat or just, a, or just someone who's good at magic. I wanted to be able to go into a fight. I wanted to be able to turn on certain magics and then I wanted to be able to fight and then if I saw an opportunity where I was fighting to bring up my bow and arrow, I wanted to be able to fire off a bow. So what we've had to do is find a way of doing the combat so that you could use all of your weapons all of the time and all of your magics and combine your magics together. And I should be able to do the, all that with just simple button presses, not going into some long menu list and selecting a spell. It's got to be quick, it's got to be action oriented. One of the reasons that I put marriage into Fable is because I felt it would be a nice thing to do. It's a good thing to do. You know, it's, you, evil people don't get married. They do something else. You've been gambling, haven't you? You better not have been boasting again. And I was watching some of the testers, and he started chatting up the mayoress's daughter. And he brought her some chocolates and some roses, and then eventually they got married. And, you know, that really proves that, you know, even a 15-year-old kid can buy into the, the idea of getting married. And then he started doing this strange thing. He then took the girl's father, who was the mayor, who was very rich, and killed him. And then he went back to his house where his wife lived and killed her. And of course it dawned on me that he'd realized that when the mayor died, all his money would be, would be left to the daughter. And when she died, all her money would be left to him. And he ended up with all this gold, ended up being more evil than ever, and having a dead wife who shoved in the bedroom at the top of the house. And that just goes to show you, even when you think of an idea when in this simulated world, there are so many different events that can happen in that idea.